hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to talk about other set of microservices so till now we have talked about tcp and uh, grpc now we are going to talk about uh, redis uh, kafka rabbitmq and all and what is common in all of that these all are event driven uh, communication setup so there is a nsjs client client proxy again we are going to talk about so for redis for kafka or rabbitmq we are going to create a client proxy and then we will have a nestjs microservices all are going to connecting to the redis so here we are not going to have a simple nestjs client proxy or a nestjs uh, microservice which are going to expose or uh, which are going to expose some port and client will connect to that it's not going to happen something like that here we have a redis redis is like a communication medium or transport medium redis you need to set up as a docker container and your client will also be pointing to the redis connecting to the redis and your nestjs microservice also will be connecting to the redis so you will send a message or send a message pattern to the redis and then the, there is a nestjs microservice who is handling that particular message pattern like you can send a give me users get users get user by id delete user update user or give me user list all these commands you can send from the client proxy and then through the redis redis is just a transport medium here this another nestjs microservice will listen on the same redis host and redis port so we will have a setup of redis container which is running on local host and 6379 this is the port which exposes so this is redis microservice we have I mean the transport mode is Redis, Nest.js microservice and similarly we will create a simple client module what this client module contains the transport is Redis and the options the host of the Redis and the port so this client proxy it's going to be the similar to the TCP uh, service here we are creating client proxy and through this client proxy inside a service we will just uh, send a method send uh, some payload and this Nest.js microservice which is listening to the redis same host and same port will receive that event and will respond right so this is how the end to end communication will happen so particular message pattern this nestjs microservice will listen it, you may also pass some data so it's all about uh, how we are setting up redis transport it is implementing the paradigm of a publisher sub subscriber feature of redis publish messages are categorized in channels and then there is a subscriber that will receive the message and respond so this is how we are creating a simple microservice the only difference here is the transport is different otherwise we have seen this code earlier in the videos this is our nestjs microservice and you need to pass you need to install this io redis as a module and this is how we are creating we are doing the client module dot register same as any other microservice and this is like for the rabbit mq you need emq lib and uh, emq connection manager and this is how you are creating a rabbit mq nestjs microservice you just specify the queue name and the options and the url host port and similarly the client proxy for the rabbit mq based microservice you just specify the another transport medium is rmq and similarly same host port and the queue name and you will send a event from this client proxy and this nestjs microservice which is connecting to either rabbitmq or redis will handle those kind of uh, scenarios so we can talk about uh, this radish kafka and rabbitmq kafka setting up the kafka is little tricky on the docker containers so my main focus will be talking about redis and rabbitmq redis is simple we can have a simple docker container i can i would exp i will be explaining that how you can set up a simple redis we already have a docker compose yml file we'll add one more container and we will spin up the container with uh, that container will create a redis server and using local host and port 6379 we would be able to connect to the redis server so what do we have is simple client client will be to, uh, connected to the redis host and port and then there is a server connecting to the host and port so we can see kafka rabbitmq all are doing like a same stuff creating a client proxy and then use that client proxy to emit event send event and in grpc call a particular method so the terminology is different but the communication and the apis which this nestjs is exposing that's really nice because in the vanilla node.js or express 
everybody writes the code in their own way publisher subscriber or these message driven communications are really not that helpful you can write it but uh, the nextjs is providing a way of doing it in the clean way okay so let's see uh, in the implementation how we are going to achieve this so for redis uh, we are going to just use this pub sub model in our code what are we going to do is i will create a redis controller separate controller at the gateway which will have a redis endpoint from that we are going to call this uh, redis service so here this is a redis service we are just setting it up here like same as the token service and all and uh, we can also talk about the rabbit mq service that is just another service and another configuration so we need to add two more uh, configurations one is the redis service and another is rmq service so it will have a same parameter just only the transport will be different transport for one is the redis and another for is uh, rabbit mq rmq why i'm changing in the build let's go to the packages and update the things inside a source not inside the build files so let's go to config and there should be a source inside that we have a config service config interface let's put them the type is still fine user service is the type because all these properties are same options and transport uh, i don't think we need any other uh, input transport is of type transport uh, okay so here we are creating a user service config i mean two other parameters we have added inside uh, config interface and then we will just expose them through the config service so auth service because this config service is centralized package which each and every application services are using the microservices are using we have this database module config module and all we are using nx and pnpm workspace nx is the monorepo and we are just taking advantage of all those things so here uh, rmq service so rmq service host and then there is a redis service host and redis service port that is just a way of populating the environments through the these uh, proper services like redis service and here we can just build the config service so because config service is dependent on is being added in, in all the other microservices so we will build it or you just explicit explicit specify the new package and update the package json of all the services so here this transport mode can only be uh, of type either tcp grpc or redis you need to specify so for user service it's tcp and for other two services it is one for grpc another for redis so redis service and rmq service we will be changing the type here the transport is not important now it should fix the build for this config service and then inside app module we will just uh, import this config service why it is complaining we got the token service okay this is redis service so we'll get the the redis service here let's see why it is complaining custom class okay this is going to be the redis service and another going is to be rmq service So this is rmq service and we will pass that inside a client proxy dot create so why it is complaining because when it talk comes to the grpc grpc's client proxy dot create takes more argument than just passing the transport and the options because you need to pass the loaders where you need to specify the proto files and all here this transport is not correct type here transport can be of type either grpc tcp and all not the transport okay so here is this is the auth user service of grpc redis service should be of type redis that we can just connect correct and then this rmq service is of type transport type rmq okay so that was also uh, another issue in our config service we were not exposing the correct type transport types and then what we will do is we will go to our service and we can just try to build that again 
if it is complaining we will see and now i just created another copy because what i'm going thinking is we need two more same service so because i need to talk about the demo for uh redis and the rabbit mq so we'll just rename this and we'll just make it as a rmq service and then there is another service i will just rename that to the redis so same one grpc auth service we'll just clone it and we will just change the the implementation by just changing the transport type to the redis and transport type to rmq and we will just clean up a little bit of code and we should be able to use that code here okay so this is a simple one what we will do is let's implement uh, the redis service what we will do is we will create the redis container and see that in the demo in the next video